The stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, the man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today on this episode. I am kicking off a new campaign. That's right, we are headed back to Carcosa in the return to the path to Carcosa. But uh, this time, I'm not going alone. I am going to be joined by my counterpart over at the Great Old Ones Gaming Podcast and a patron of the channel, Nate, Lost in Time and Space Winslow. We are going to try to knock this campaign out for you and uh, see how we do against the uh, the buffed scenarios in the Return to box. Before we get started, I'd just like to uh, send a big thank you out to all the patrons of the channel who uh, make this uh, sort of thing possible. Uh, special thanks to new patron Adam S. who uh, signed up recently. Uh, it's people like Adam who uh, help this channel along and uh, they uh, have my uh, eternal gratitude for, uh, for doing what they do to make uh, this channel possible. Let's take a look at the decks that we are going to be playing. Nate has decided to go with uh, Luke Robinson, the new Mystic Investigator from the Dream Eaters Deluxe Box. He uh, sent me this deck that he wants to uh, play. We are going to have, uh, he's got Hawkeye Folding Camera and St. Hubert's Key in there to boost his willpower and intellect. Uh, he has David Renfield and Dr. Mylan Christopher in there to generate resources, as well as boost his willpower and intellect, respectively. And uh, he has uh, a going to attempt, I believe, to exploit the synergy between uh, Luke Robinson's movement ability with his gatebox as well as events such as Drawn to the Flame, Read the Signs, Seeking Answers, and Vantage Point to uh, discover clues at uh, High Shroud locations. As for me, I was uh, looking for an investigator from the Path to Carcosa who I could take through uh, the Return to box, and uh, I settled on uh, that I would be going with uh, Mark Harrigan. Uh, this is a fairly uh, typical Mark Harrigan deck, We've got a, a 32 Colt Beat Cop Enchanted Blade Taunt and Vicious Blow in there for offense. Uh, the big difference here from the original campaign, uh, in the original Pasta Carcosa, Enchanted Blade wasn't out yet, so the uh, the uh, Poltergeists could be a real thorn in Mark's side. That's no longer the case if you can get an Enchanted Blade on the uh, board because it does have the Relic keyword. We've also got a Hallowed Mirror, that's a new addition. Find clothes and emergency aid for defense. Hallowed Mirror is particularly nice if we can get that down on the table because it will heal damage as well as horror. And we get to those three copies of uh, Soothing Melody, uh, one in our hand and then two in our draw deck. We've got Evidence and Scene of the Crime in there to help discover clues. Uh, I think Luke will do a, a pretty good job, but it's always nice to uh, pick up a clue uh, if you kill something with evidence or if you just happen to be at the same uh, location as an enemy with scene of the crime. Both of things uh, that Mark should be doing anyway. Uh, I am playing Elusive and Shortcut to uh, improve his mobility. Elusive is particularly helpful in uh, Curtain Call because you can use it uh, if you decide to attack the man in the uh, Pallid Mask. You can play Elusive in the middle of the attack to move to the lobby before he does, uh, thus eliminating a lot of the problems uh, with uh, movement in uh, this particular scenario. Of course, this deck is not uh, List of Taboo uh, compliant uh, because I am including Elusive, but I will probably take it out after this scenario. Uh, I don't have too much of a problem uh, not playing a, a Taboo deck in this just because it is a return to uh, return to path to Carcosa and so the uh, scenarios are going to be a little bit tougher so I don't mind bringing some of those uh, extremely good cards along for the ride. We uh, have not, uh, we haven't, uh, unlike some of the uh, later uh, campaigns, we don't really have much uh, in the way of uh, scenario prep. You pretty much dive in and that's what we are going to do right now. We are set up and ready to go in Octagon. How are you doing today, Nate? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? Oh, not bad. It's a snowy day up here on the plateau, so the roads are terrible. And, uh, well, it sounds like a great day for a game of Arkham, then. It uh, sure does. So we are uh, set up. We are playing uh, the Return to the Path to Carcosa, which... Uh, 
neither of us have uh, played as of yet. We are starting, of course, with Curtain Call, which is uh, one of my uh, favorite scenarios. And we will uh, see how it goes. Uh, we have not drawn our weaknesses yet, so uh, we will do that now. And uh, we'll see uh, see how we do. Why don't you go first, Nate, and uh, see what you get. All righty. And we get a... A haunted. Gross. Nice. All right. Let's see how Mark does. Mark gets overzealous. I can't think of... <laughs> oh, man. you got to be kidding me. Any more uh, fitting than that. So, yes, I am playing, uh, as you can see by the board, uh, I'm playing Mark Harrigan, and uh, Nate is playing Luke Robinson. Tell me a little bit about your, day, your, uh, your deck, Nate, and uh, what you... Uh, hope to achieve with it so luke is a very shifty character he's able to very quickly move around the map and get to where he needs to be very quickly and he can use his access to seeker cards to both uh, gain additional resources with crack the case and draw extra cards if he wanted to play something like uh, no stone unturned but my build has a lot more jank in it. So we're going to be playing cards like Vantage Point and Seeking Answers and hopefully upgrading into In the Know so that we can use uh, the Dream Gate to its maximum effect. Nice. And I am playing a pretty bog standard uh, Mark Harrigan deck uh, with uh, the Enchanted Blade as well as uh, Fine Clothes, at least until we get through uh, The Last King. And uh, we are not uh, following the taboo list. I know that uh, you've got uh, Mylon Christopher in your deck, and I have Elusive in mine. So uh, Elusive is extremely good in this scenario because you can kill the man in the pallid mask and move during the fight to the lobby, so you can save yourself a lot of time and, and hassle and hopefully kill him twice in one turn and, uh, and uh, open up that resign option. So everybody can get out. So I think we are ready to draw our opening hands. Uh, if you want to go first. Uh, sure. Just to yeah, I'll go give first. me one sec here. I just want to see. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and we'll see. Uh, I may have to change the visibility. This is uh, the first time in a long time that we have. Uh... Yeah, you'll have to describe. There we go. So you've got a, a Seeking Answers, a Premonition of Seeking Answers, an Enraptured, and St. Hubert's Key. It's not terrible, but yeah, there's definitely some cards worth mulliganing. St. Hubert's Key is great to have in the opening hand. Yeah, for sure. So you can go ahead and mulligan. And... Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and mulligan uh, Enraptured. I'm debating on keeping this, but definitely at least Mullen getting these three. But I'll we'll probably hold on to Premonition. I so you and how do you place bot cards on the bottom again? Oh, wait, no, it just shuffled them. Yeah, you just need to shuffle them in. So you got a shriveling, a Doctor Mylan Christopher, and uh, what is that other card? That card is Vantage Point. That is Vantage Point. Okay, yeah. For some reason, our Vantage Point is broken in uh, in this. I thought I had fixed it, but uh, it has not. And and uh, Nate likes to play strange cards that uh, don't see much play. So and unfortunately, Vantage Point is going to be. Uh, we'll just have to keep it in mind. So not too bad. Christopher's nice to have. Yeah, Shriveling, a great obviously, opening hand. And, uh, and St. Hubert's Key. Let's see how uh, how Mark does. And uh, All right, so... Uh, I've got a Vicious Blow, an Enchanted Blade, Scene of the Crime, the Hallowed Mirror, and a Beat Cop. That's pretty nice. I the vicious blow can go. Uh, scene of the crime can go. The rest, I think, are keepers. 
Yeah, it's a great opening hand. And we get a shortcut and a taunt. Well, the taunt is nice later when we need to get that get the man in the pallid mask. Shortcut is always handy, but not immediately useful. So we've got a weapon, we've got the hallowed mirror, and of course the beat cop. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty good. Well, let's move our guys over here to the theater, and we will uh, kick this thing off. So the theater, of course, is a uh, two-shroud location with zero clues. And uh, from there, we will go to uh, backstage or the lobby and where we will get more locations. There are a couple new locations in uh, the backstage doorway deck as well as the lobby doorway. Uh, there are a few new treacheries in this. And uh, what else? I think that's about it. And there's a slight change to the uh, the Royal Emissary, who, uh, whenever he leaves play, we attach the scenario card to him, and then he gets plus one health per investigator when he comes back. So uh, he will get bigger and bigger and bigger as the game goes on until we uh, even, I think, Mark will have trouble killing him. So uh, if you want to do the honors, Nate, and take the first turn... Uh, We'll kick this thing off. Sure. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'll start by playing my own Christopher. And let's see. Second action. Let's go ahead and move backstage all right backstage three shroud location with one clue and uh, we need to go grab a couple of uh, back do backstage doorway locations we'll shuffle up those decks uh, there is one that's a lobby there's the other backstage doorway All right, and then let's see. Last action, I will investigate three versus four. Minus two. Eh, that's too bad. Oh, well. All right. Now, Mark probably wants our weapon and our beat cop as soon as we can get them. I think the weapon will take priority here. So we'll grab the Enchanted Blade, get our three charges. That's going to be nice if we draw any of those stupid uh, poltergeists. Uh, I think I'm going to move over to you, and I'll take a resource so we can set up for uh, for the Beat Cop uh, next turn. All right, we got... Uh, Nothing during the enemy phase. Upkeep. I draw a scene of the crime. And I draw a sixth sense. All right. And so we are going to our first mythos phase of the game. And uh, you can do the honors there, Nate. Let's see how we do here. Uh button. Oh, there yeah. it goes. Yeah, Spires of Carcosa. Gross. Yeah, that's a, that's rough. Spire is being the uh, attached to a location and then place two doom on that location. And then uh, if we investigate Spires, we get to, uh, instead of discovering clues, we get to remove a doom. So that uh, we have three of six doom on the table on the second turn. That's always nice. And uh, Mark will draw the Fanatic, who will show up at our location. Uh, spawn at the location with the most clues. After he enters play, move one clue from Fanatic's location to Fanatic. When you defeat Fanatic, take control of all its clues. So he will show up. And uh, we get the clue, but uh, I will have to kill him. Fortunately, that should not be too difficult with the uh, with the enchanted blade. 
So uh, do you want to go and try to investigate the, and remove those that doom? Um, probably the best idea, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and start by playing Premonition. Okay. That's a minus one. All right, so sweet. He, he drew a so, skull, so minus one on the next test. So I'll go ahead and use my first action to investigate with uh, with premonition. And of course, uh, that's four versus three, so I'll succeed and I'll gain a resource off my link crystal. Okay, and we uh, get rid of one of those doom. All right, second action, I'll go ahead and investigate again. Four versus. Nice. Zero. Yeah. So I pass again. <clears throat> All right, so we get rid of the. Uh, get rid of the spires. That's nice to see that, uh, that leave, that's for sure. And with my last action, I'm going to move into this backstage doorway. All right. We get the dressing room, four shroud location, zero clues. Take three actions to heal three horror. So no luck there. Ugh. Yeah, that means we're going to have to make, some, make a trek across the board, which is uh, I hate to do in this uh, scenario if I can help it. Uh, Mark is going to just do what Mark does and try to kill this guy. We are going six versus three. Uh, for one damage. Chaos bag gives us a plus one. Uh, wrong button. There we go. And uh, six versus three. Uh, chaos bag gives a minus two. So the uh, fanatic is dead. I grab his clue. And I think I will play the beat cop. Nice. My final action. Don't need to use Sophie yet, but uh, with uh, having that that hallowed mirror, that should be very nice to uh, very nice. All right, I think that's going to do it for our investigation phase. No enemies to worry about. Upkeep. I draw another copy of Shortcut. Uh no, I drew my weakness. Oh no. So you are at uh, at minus one for the time being. All all of your yeah. yeah double action too. That that hurts in this scenario when you when you need to uh, to get those actions. Yeah, it's, it sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah. At least I drew it early. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, I do have a scene of the crime, but I don't have the resources to play it, so. Maybe I can, uh, we'll see what happens. Two of six doom. Uh, Nate, your card is going to be Spirit's Torment. Attached to your location after you leave. Attached location, you must either take one horror or lose one action. Gee whiz. All the action taxes, and you can take an action to place one of your clues on attached location to discard Spirit's Torment. We won't have to worry about that. At least it's not on the theater. Yeah, or in the lobby, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, my card is going to be, there is the poltergeist. Uh, but fortunately, we do have the enchanted blade. So uh, poltergeist, three fight, two health, four evade. Monster geist cannot be damaged except by spells or relics, which the enchanted blade is. Or I can parlay test three intellect to attempt to banish the geist. Uh, but uh, we will not have to worry about that. Yeah, right. you should just be able to kill it with one action, so... Um, yeah, if I spend a charge from my from my enchanted blade, I think I'm going to save the... save the blade. I might... just because uh, I'm worried about that royal emissary, depending how many times we have to kill him. Hmm. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, I could kill him in one shot. That's. Uh, I'd so, still have a shriveling. Yeah, that's for true. The, for the emissary. Yeah, maybe we will dispatch him, and I can check out this backstage doorway and see what. Uh, it'd be nice if I had that second resource, and then I could. Uh, I could move and uh, scene of the crime, but that's that'd be too horror. That's pretty expensive for. Oh, I've got a shortcut too. That would be. Anyway, we will. Uh, I'll. I'll go first here. I will take an action to. Uh, I'm going to spend a charge on my enchanted blade. So we are. Uh, I'm getting six, seven, eight for two damage. So eight versus three. Chaos bag gives me an elder sign. So uh, plus one for each damage on mark. That's a zero. So the poltergeist uh, is dead. I will go check out this uh, backstage doorway as my second action. It oh nah, not this one. Oh uh, no. Uh, we Bro. get one of the new locations in Return to the Path to Carcosa. This is the prop shop seven shroud location with one clue, and uh, or two clues. Sorry, I always screw that up when we switch to multiplayer. Uh, it gets minus one shroud for each horror on you after you fail a skill test while investigating prop shop take a horror and it's worth a victory point but seven shroud that is uh, that is mean so I uh, don't worry I got it covered man you got it covered all right yeah. that vantage out, point right? is going to come in handy oh yeah totally I will take a resource as my final action all right so We'll, we'll do it next turn because I got to get rid of this haunted. Mm -hmm. So, first two actions are going to be discard the. And then, I guess with my last action, I'll just. Um... Mm. Yeah, so check this out. So, I'm going to use a fast action to play Vantage Point. So vantage point is fast play after a location is entered. Oh, that has to be at a certain point. So never mind. I have to be the one that does that. So after it enters play, yeah, that have to have the the location. In. So you're the one who has to go there. So let's start by spending a charge on the gate box. And we'll move here. So so that happens, and so then does, I get to play. Does that leaving point. leaving the location would trigger Spirit's Torment, right? Yes, I will take a horror as well. So, so I play Vantage Point for a resource, and let's see. So, so it entered play during my turn, and until the end of the turn, uh, the active invest during my turn, this location gains minus one shroud, and then I can move one clue to that location from any other location. So we'll go ahead and take the clue from the prop shop. Okay. And then I'll use my last action to investigate zero versus four. And chaos bag gives us a minus two, which is good enough, and I gain a resource off my own Christopher. Nice. And that's my turn. All right. So uh, one more clue on the prop shop to deal with. Uh, but uh, maybe I will get lucky and draw an enemy, and uh, I will be able to uh, to pull it up. 
So no enemies to worry about during the uh, upkeep phase. I draw a 32 Colt. Another weapon at for the, Mark. I have to move to a location at the end of the investigation phase. So I'm going to go back into the theater. Nice. Get a start on those. Uh... So we need six clues, eh? So lobby would have two. And then we, or the, sorry, the balcony would have two, and then we need two from somewhere else. So I know those some of those lobby doorway locations are pretty tough. So we shall see. All right, we go to the mythos phase. Three of six. Uh, I, your card, Nate, is the king's edict for each cultist enemy in play. Uh, there are none, so it's just going to gain surge. Uh, and you get another King's Edict, which will gain <laughs> Surge. And you get a Swarm of Rats. Oh, come on. And Mark's card will be... Oh, look at this. The Agent of the King shows up. Ooh, nice. nice. That's a victory point. Yep, and he, I can grab that clue at the prop shop. Oh, yeah, the check scene, that out. The Bam. scene of the crime. Awesome. All right. Uh, do you want to go first? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think so. My turn's gonna be pretty simple. Yeah. Rat fight. Yeah. So let's see here. We will punch one versus two. Nice. All right. So we pass. The swarm of rats die. And second action, I'm going to spend four resources to play St. Hubert. And with my last action, I will spend a resource to play Ritual Candles. And that'll be my turn. All right. I'm going to fight this guy. Um, I can't kill him in one turn. Uh, I guess I could. I can probably play the Colt down before the Royal Emissary shows up. So uh, I'm going to spend two resources as my first action to play Scene of the Crime. That lets us uh, discover uh, one or two clues at our location. Doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity, so I will discover this clue. Second action, I'm going to spend a resource off the Enchanted Blade. So we are going uh, six, seven, eight versus four for two damage. Chaos Bag gives us a skull. That's a minus one. So he will take two damage, and uh, I will do that one more time to go after the Agent of the King. Again, uh, five, uh, six, seven, eight versus four. Chaos Bag gives us another skull, so that's a minus one, and he is, uh, he is dead. Nice. Add him to the victory display, and that is my turn. So quick turn there we head to the upkeep phase i draw an emergency cash and i got read the signs which is pretty useful yeah we see uh, we did a little test game to see how things would work out and uh played a couple turns because uh, i haven't played uh, on octagon i think uh, with another player since way back probably three years ago uh, when I first started the channel, and uh, so we we ran a little test, and uh, that uh, card did some uh, did some work. So uh, we'll ha see how it does in uh, in this real playthrough. So we uh, we are at four of six doom. Your encounter card will be a new. Uh, this is painful reflection. This is one of the new treacheries. Put it into play in your threat area. When you play an event, reveal a random token from the Chaos Bag. If it is one of the special tokens, cancel that event. 
take one horror and discard painful reflection. That seems like it was custom made Ooh. for uh, for Luke. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? Yeah, that's uh that's a wow, card that after sucks. after his after his heart, that's for sure. All right. Uh, my card is going to be Black Stars Rise Test 4 Intellect. If you fail, either place one Doom on the current agenda or take one horror for each point you fail by. Uh, that is rough, but uh, we do have the Hallowed Mirror. Um, if we can get that down. So, four versus two. That is not good, and I do not have a single intellect icon in my hand. So, uh, we are just going... Uh, straight up, Chaos Bag gives us a minus one, so that will be uh, four versus one, so that's three. Um, so I would have to take three horror, or we would advance the agenda. Or no, we'd have to place a Doom on the agenda. Um... I think I will take. I, the, think. I think I'm going to take the horror. Uh, I don't think an ancient evils at this point is that bad. Yeah. Well, we we are going to advance next. We'd advance next turn, so I could play the cult. Move, move to theater. To prepare for the royal emissary's arrival. So yeah, yeah, we'll add the doom, I guess. Uh, and that's it. All right. On to the investigation phase. Uh, I think my turn is uh, pretty straightforward, so I will use three resources to play the 32 Colt. And uh, that will get my six ammo. And I will move twice to the theater. And that'll be me. All right, so my turn is going to be move to the lobby. Lobby for shroud location with one clue, and uh, you can take a double action to draw three cards. Of course, we have to go get some lobby doorway locations as well. Uh, there is one and there is two. All right. All right, and I'm kind of tempted to draw three cards, so I think I'm going to use my last two actions to do just that. So we draw a Renfield, a Mylan Christopher, and a Hawkeye folding camera. Nice. Yeah, the uh, Hawkeye folding camera is, is pretty good in, uh, in Luke. Well... That was a, a rather uh, uneventful phase. Just preparing for the arrival of the... Uh, I draw another copy of Emergency Cash. That is... Uh, I see you got Vantage Point again. Yep. Based on that uh, that question mark symbol. So, uh, <laughs> all right. We get the... Uh, we go on to the Mythos phase, and we, we do advance the, uh, the agenda... So uh, the Royal Emissary spawns at the theater. And uh, Mark will have his uh, work cut out for him here. And we advance to the next agenda, 2A Encore. Forced after the Royal Emissary is added to the victory display, remove all Doom from play, reset the agenda deck to Agenda A1, and then place three Doom on that agenda. Your encounter card is going to be a Spirit's Torment. Ah, oh, come on. Right on no. the lobby. Yeah. And uh, mine will be another Black Star's Rise. <laughs> well, I, I think we're adding another Doom here. Uh, Chaos Bag gives me a Sophie. skull. That's a minus one. So uh, we will add a Doom because I think I'm, I'm pretty confident that I can kill this... Uh, this chump this turn so yeah to shoot him in the face 
question mark? Yeah. Whatever that a, thing yeah. is. Yeah, his, <laughs> his butt face, to put it politely. Uh, right. So what are you going to do? Well, I think my first action is going to be to play Hawkeye Folding Camera. So I'll spend my two resources and an action to do that. And let's see, second action. Let's hmm. uh, let's investigate five versus four here, and I'm gonna commit Mylan Christopher. So it's gonna be six versus. Chaos bag will say minus two. Nice. So I get this clue. All right. So two clues to go before we can uh, we can bring out uh, the man in the pallet mask. And that was my second action, and then third action. I'm going to take a horror and move into the balcony. Okay. Balcony, two shroud location with uh, two clues on it. Put some clues on it. What's going on? Weird. All right. Two shroud location, two clues, and that one is, the, of course, the one where you can take the forced effect and uh, move. Uh, after you perform a move action during which you move from the balcony to the theater, you take two damage, so you can jump off the balcony if you uh, if you wish. Oh, and I trigger Hawkeye folding camera as well. Oh, that's right, you do. So you're up to uh, five willpower now, or six. Six with the uh, St. Hubert's key. Nice. Yeah, we're we're looking pretty styling now. Can't forget those ritual candles. I have to I read. always do too. I have to read what they do because I I've never played with them. Uh, special symbols revealed. You get plus one skill. Okay. Cool. Do you have one action left, or is that it? You played a camera, moved, played, uh, got, uh, grabbed, played camera, moved. investigated, and moved. All right, all right, royal emissary, it's you and me. Uh, I am gonna spend a charge off the uh, or an ammo on the thirty-two Colt. So we are going uh, five, six, six versus four. Hmm. Uh, I could take a damage. Uh, I think I'm going to use Sophie to take a damage. Uh, so I get plus one, two skill, plus two to my skill value for this test. So we are going to go six, seven, eight versus four. Chaos bag gives us an elder sign. Now that is uh, plus one damage for each damage on Mark Harrigan. So uh, he takes three damage in one shot. That is uh, pretty sweet. And don't uh, forget to draw a card, too. Oh, that's right. Because I draw, yeah, it's been a long time since I played Mark. So after I take it down, yeah, I draw a card. All right, what do we get? We get evidence. Now, well, that's not going to be that helpful here. Uh, but it is two intellect skill icons for the next time I draw Black Star's Rise. <laughs> um, so I don't really need to use my gun here. I could simply uh, hack at him with the uh, enchanted blade. Uh, that would be six, seven. Yep. Uh, I will, I think I'll use Sophie again. Uh, I can only use my ability once per phase, so that's all right. Uh, we're going nine versus four. Chaos Bag gives us a skull. That's a minus one. And uh, the Royal Emissary is done. Of course.
course, he will. But be... only deals one damage, or are you doing it twice? No, I'm just dealing it one damage because he he took three from the. Uh, he took three damage from the first shot, and then I just needed to deal one more. How did he take three? Because I drew an elder sign. And I get plus one damage for each damage on mark. So he took three from the first shot. Mm. So saved myself an ammo. Uh, so what? So we have to. Uh, we go back to. Uh, we go back to the. Uh, find that. Uh, Hard. We go back to third act. Three doom on it. And I have an action remaining. Uh, I'm going to take... Uh, actually, I'm going to play emergency cash for three resources. So I can get that uh, hallowed mirror out here. And that will be it. Uh, that was the investigation phase. We will go to upkeep. I draw an elusive. Nice. I drew a water protection. Awesome. So uh, we, uh, I've got all the movement cards I need. So uh, if we can pop that, uh, pop that man in the pallid mask, I can probably get to him, engage him with taunt, and kill him uh, in short order. So nice. That would be very nice indeed. We go to the Mythos phase. Four of six doom because the agenda reset. Your card, Nate, is going to be one of the new treacheries. Of course, I can't read it because it's uh, supposed to be peril. So I will... Uh, you may take that into your hand. Uh, no. This and is... This is not fun. And mine is Voice of Trunembra. This is another one of the new uh, treacheries from Path to the uh, Return to the Path to Carcosa. This is Peril. Test three willpower for each point you fail by. You must choose a different option. Lose two resources. Take a horror. Get minus two to the next skill test you perform this round. Ugh. So I have three willpower. And I don't... The only willpower icons I have are on cards I don't want to spend. So we will just uh, go with the Will of the Chaos bag, which gives us a skull. That's a minus one. So I need to take uh, one of these actions. Uh, I will simply put a horror on the beat cop. And uh, that will be that. All right, we go to the next round. We are on turn seven. For those who have been keeping track at home, uh, we need two clues in order to pull out uh, the next uh, to advance to the act. Well, I think my turn's going to be pretty simple, so I guess I'll go first. I'm going to spend my first action to investigate, what is that, uh, let's see, two versus three, four, five, six. Oh, five, sorry. Uh, two versus five, chaos specs. Minus one, so I pass. And then with my section ac second action, we'll go ahead and do it again, and I'll also gain a resource from Violent Christopher. All right, so testing two versus five chaos big set. Elder sign. Oh, get Ooh, a, get sweet! A charge on and the I get a box. charge on the gate box. Nice. Very cool. And then I trigger my Hawkeye folding camera again. So he has two or more evidence on it. So now he gets plus one, uh, plus one willpower and plus one intellect. So uh, yeah, you're rocking a, a five into our six intellect and uh, six willpower. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And let's see here. So I have one action left. Uh, so we can trigger. We can advance the uh, the act now. Oh, that's true. 
Do we want to do that now, or do we want to wait a turn? Um, well, if we do it now, I've got Taunt. I can, I can, I've got two copies of Shortcut and an Elusive, so I could get pretty much anywhere I need to get to him, Taunt to engage him, shoot him down, and then move to the lobby, and we can be in good shape. All right, then let's let's do that. All right. So we spend our six clues. Now there are a couple, there were three added, uh, they added three copies of Act 2A to the, uh, to the deck. Uh, so there are a total of six, I believe now. So we have to choose one of the set aside locations at random and put the uh, man in the pallid mask enemy at that location. So we will make these invisible to us. We will shuffle them up. And the man in the pallid mask is at a lobby doorway. So he comes over here. Uh, for those of you who uh, haven't uh, played the uh, Pastor Carcosa or it's been a while, man in the pallid mask has four, four fight, three health, and four evade humanoid elite. Uh, we can take an investigate action to uh, get plus two shroud for this investigation. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, you defeat the man in the pallid mask, or you can simply engage him and uh, shoot him down. Um, I guess it's nice that he's at the lobby doorway rather than one of the further ones. So we uh, And uh, then we have to get a random Act 2A. So we will grab... I believe there are six of them now. Yep. And we will shuffle those up. Let's see how we do. Uh, we will take this one. And there we go. You have one action remaining. All right. Uh, let's see. Last action, I guess, is to spend three resources to play Shriveling. All right. And that'll be my turn. All right. Well, we're. Uh, I think we're in the end game here now. So I will use my shortcut to move to the lobby. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, take a horror, lose an action. Uh, I can shortcut again. Uh, I will take a horror. Uh, that puts me in this lobby doorway with the man. It is the lighting box. It's a four shroud location with one clue. And while you are uh, in the lighting box, increase the resource cost of each card in your hand by two. Wow, that's, uh, that's painful. Uh, so I won't be able to pull off the elusive trick here if I'm going to taunt. Uh, so we will just go... Um, I'm going to taunt the man in the pallid mask for three resources instead of uh, uh, instead of one. Ugh. Uh, but I still have three actions to go, so I will uh, use one action to shoot him. Uh, actually, oh, it's too bad. We've got that. I've got that evidence in my hand, but I can't use it. All oh, right, because it costs three resources. It costs now. three resources now. Yeah. So let's shoot him with the gun. That'll be uh, six. Uh, six for two damage. Six versus four. I think I will take a damage uh, on the beat cop. And. Draw a card, which is going to be prepared for the worst. Uh, so we are going six, seven, eight versus four. 
Chaos Bag gives us a minus one, so the uh, man in the pallet mask takes two damage. And uh, we will do that one more time. Uh, I will take a damage on myself this time. And we will go six versus, or eight versus four. Chaos Bag says plus one. So the man in the pallet mask is dead. So I have one action remaining. Uh, I wish I could play that evidence, but uh, unfortunately I cannot. And, and then we advance to Act 3. We act, yeah, we do. So we flip Act 2A. It is uh, under the city. Is that one of the new ones? Yep. It is one of the it new is. ones. Okay, so uh, I'll read it off here just because it is uh, Act 2B is under the city. As you face off with the stranger, you get a sense that he is grinning beneath his pale, faceless mask. Where is everyone, you ask? But he does not respond. What's going on? He remains silent and steps back as you approach until his back is against the corner of the room. The ground shakes and you hear an uproarious collapse from above as vines, tree roots, and alien overgrowth tear into the ceiling of the room. You turn back to the stranger, but he is gone. So instead of discarding the man in the pallet mask, move him to the lobby. So he is uh, back for more. He is at the lobby. Add a cultist and an elder thing token to the chaos bag. So that's a bit of a, ma it's usually two, isn't it? Two of the same? It is, yep. But in the, I guess in this version, they, the other three versions are iterations of combinations of special token. Yeah, so uh, we will add one of each. Changes up the chaos bag a little bit. So those are going to be uh, minus fours if, uh, if your location has at least one horror on it. Take one horror from the token pool. If your location has no horror, place one horror on it instead. And now the forced effect, or the, uh, the big effect that everybody wants to know. Place one horror on the balcony. So that is, uh, and for whatever reason. It's less than ideal. The balcony doesn't want to let me put stuff on it, but that's fine. Uh, place one horror in the balcony. Until the end of the scenario, horror on locations represents entangling overgrowth, and each location with horror gains forced. After you leave this location, test four willpower. If you fail, discard an item or ally asset you control. If you cannot, take two damage instead. So, Ew. Uh, That's gross. But, I mean, you've got, what, you, you're there, so you've got six willpower. So you should be fine. Yeah, I just I'm thinking about other investigators like Skids and yeah, Roland. And... Skids. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Skids. It's just like, and we've created more cards to 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 make Skids life even more uh, even more miserable, and we advance <laughs> to Act uh, Act Three A here. So uh, at the end of the round, we place one horror on each location with no horror that is connected to a location with horror. Uh, I guess I have one action remaining. I will move back to the uh, to the lobby. All right. And, and then the end of the turn, I did not perform a play. Oh, I, no, I did. I played Trivial. So we go. Uh, when do we place this stuff? At the end of the round. Okay. So during the uh, upkeep, I draw Take the Initiative. And I draw another event that may or may not be canceled from my painful reflection. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go to the next round. So we have four, five of six. Uh, and then your encounter card is going to be twisted to his will. If there is no doom in play, 
twisted to his will gain surge otherwise test uh, willpower x where x is the amount of doom in play so that's going to be willpower five if you fail discard two cards from your hand at random all right well i guess we will try to play this so uh, try to play a ward of protection which could be cancelled by a, a painful reflection but uh, you draw a minus four so it is not cancelled and uh, that's that and I draw a copy of Twisted to my will as well. <laughs> so uh, everything seems to be coming in twos in this game. Uh, so I have to, to make a willpower five test. Uh, that's I could commit take the initiative to it, but uh, this is an all or nothing. So uh, I don't really have anything in my hand that I'm all that concerned about losing at this point, so uh, I will just take the test. Draw zero, so I will discard two cards. Uh, is it at random? At random. All right, so random discard one is the hallowed mirror. Random discard two is prepared for the worst. And that will be our turn. All right. So we need to kill the man or investigate the man. Uh, and then we are... We can defeat we him wanna, and then resign. Do we want to try to hunt for more experience? Uh, what are we sitting at now? Uh, one. One. <laughs> two. Two, yeah. <laughs> two. Uh, we're gonna have the royal. Oh, no, three. We have three because we have the uh, agent of the king too. Right, right. Do we get greedy? So if the I think so. I think we have the time. So the royal emissary is gonna come out next turn, and then he will. Uh, we need to put a horror on this uh, location here. And, uh, okay. So how do we want to deal with the man, first of all? Hmm. I mean, I'm investigating at a six. If we go that route, I can, we can throw icons and do that. Or I have a useless evidence in my it. hand. That would give so we two. can do that if you want. I could move in, and then I could investigate, and we could pitch icons to it. Yep. All right, so why don't we... I guess I'll go first, and we'll do that. I'll move with my first deck. I'll have to test willpower four. So I'll test will four versus six. Is that a minus four? Ugh, gross. Yes. So I either have to take a horror or take a horror. Gross. All right. And then second action, let's investigate the man in the pallet band. Uh, you have to discard an item or ally asset. I will discard ritual candles. Awesome. <laughs> Those ritual candles. Well, they, they did, were great. They could have triggered fire. on that on that test. You would have uh, got plus one, but when you draw minus four, that's not going to be all that helpful. No, unfortunately. All right, so let's see. So second action is going to be to investigate. So let's go ahead and commit Renfield for seven. I will uh, commit my evidence for another two. And then I will throw in my six cents for eight. All right, so eight, or no, uh, six, ten, sorry, ten versus six. Yeah, so we've got that. We've got enough to, to cover those special tokens. Thank goodness we did. Actually, that one Thank doesn't count. Indeed. That one doesn't count. It's a uh, minus it three. Been, but... Yeah, minus three because you have four horror on you. But uh, we do defeat yep. the man in the pallid mask. So he is, uh, he is gone. 
and so now the uh, resign option is available to us on uh, on the uh, the lobby. And let's see, we still have I still have one action. Yes. Hmm. Um. Oh, and I investigated, so I get a resource. My and Christopher are coming in good. Uh, let's see. So I guess with my last action, I'm going to get greedy and move. All right. Uh, you get the... Uh, you get the Theater Lounge. This is a new one, too. Uh, forced effect after you reveal the theater lounge, shuffle the encounter deck discard pile into the encounter deck, search the encounter deck for the two topmost hidden cards and secretly add both of those cards to your hand. <laughs> what the f <laughs> oh, no. So you got three of those puppies in your hand now. I do. I'm gonna take a bunch of damage this turn. <laughs> oh uh, fun. So I will shuffle those into the encounter deck. Um you can probably search and pick the. Is it you just get to. Uh, after you reveal Theater Alone, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Search the t deck for the topmost two hidden cards. So if you want to search the deck and. Take the two that you. Uh, the top two. If I can find the search option. Uh, you may have to take control of the deck, I think. Yeah, it did. It's still... How about now? Being... There it goes. Yeah, you can look at the you can go look at the whole deck and then just pick the two that you uh, so It was being uncooperative. Uncooperative. All right. So we get two uh we get to shuffle that deck and you get two more. So you've got three of those uh, new hidden cards in your hand. Mhm. Mm and then my turn ends and I take three direct damage and three direct horror. Wow. So he had visions in your mind, horrors. That takes a oh, I take, I take two, because I didn't, I didn't take a resource action and I didn't take a play action. Yeah. So uh, two direct damage and two direct horror from visions. Uh, is it horrors and failure? Were the two that uh, that hit? So you're up to six horror and two damage. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I have three actions that I don't know what to do with. Um, I guess I can just wait here for the. Uh, what's he going to hit me for? Two damage and a horror next turn. But if I just wait here for the Royal Emissary, I don't really want to discard any of my cards if I move around. So I think I'll just wait. Uh, I will uh, take an action to play Emergency Cash to gain three resources. I'm going to take an action to draw a card, which is overzealous, of course. Draw the top card of the encounter deck. I draw Melancholy. Put Melancholy into your threat area. This is one of the new uh, treacheries from uh, Return to the Path to Carcosa. Increase the resource cost of each card in your hand by one 
at the end of your turn test three um, willpower if you succeed discard melancholy so does that also affect skills no because skills are committed they're not played so that would just be uh, so my elusive goes up by one and that card gains surge uh, so I draw another one and it is twisted to oh wow this is nice uh, willpower five versus three uh, no way I can pass this. Uh, draw a skull. That's a minus, uh, minus two. No, minus one. But uh, I will fail that. So I end up discarding two cards at random, which are the only two cards I had in my hand. So those go away. And then uh, I guess I will use my last action to draw a card to try to get some cards back in my hand. There's home front. So uh, if I can successfully attack something, I can, uh, I can do, move a damage from Mark to that enemy. So uh, that will be very handy against the Royal Emissary. Okay, well that was, uh, that was an eventful turn. Lots of encounter cards drawn. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, I get another copy of Taunt during the upkeep phase. And I get a copy of Enraptured. All right. So we go to the Mythos phase. The uh, Royal Emissary is back. And this time he is tougher. So I am going to just add, I'm going to put damage on him. So he has uh, six damage we have to deal. I'm fairly certain it's... Uh, Uh, just gonna look at this uh, this card here quickly, just to make sure. Plus one health per investigator. Yeah. So, uh, forced after royal emissary is added to the victory display, place one resource on this card as a warning. For each warning on this card, royal emissary gets plus one health per investigator. So he has six health rather than four now, and we could go back to. Uh, Act uh, uh, we go back to agenda two A. Uh, your card is going to be Maddening Delusions. Surge, <laughs> if you have one or more hidden <laughs> cards in your hand, take one horror. Wow, you're getting hit like a I know, it's terrible. I think it may be time for you to resign. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. So I take I take a horror. My St. Hubert's key dies, and then I heal to horror. Right. No, so that's not bad. I mean, you've still got Christopher as well to take one for you. Uh, you're going to take one next turn due to the uh, the emissary. Yeah, probably. And that probably. surges. And you draw a Black Star's Rise. All right, so Intellect 4 versus 5 currently. Um, uh, I'll, I'll just test it, I guess. Chaos Bag will say... Nice. Zero. Very cool. That's a minus three. Oh, he drew a zero. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, we need to add horror to these locations, too, before I forget. So there's one here, 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 and that should end here. So you're going to lose another uh, another uh, item or asset unless you can pass that skill test. Yeah, hopefully I can. Okay, and my card is going to be King's Edict. Uh, there are no cultists in play. So that will surge. Ah, more surge. 
surges into a rats. Well, well, well. That's fine. Move, take an attack of opportunity, and play evidence. <laughs> If I still had the evidence in my hand, it would be uh, amazing, but uh, unfortunately not. So right. what's the plan now? Um, I guess you could grab those two clues and head back here. I think I can grab three clues this turn, so I'm going to do that. So let's start with my first action being to investigate. I'm investigating a two versus five currently. Okay. Woo, yeah, nice. Draws an Elder Sign, sweet. And then investigate again. Two versus five again. Zero. Nice. All right, and then we'll spend a charge on Gatebox. And we will put our Dream Gate into play. We'll move, and I will spend a resource and draw. Of course. Mm. So that doesn't work. And then I have to take a horror as well, fun. Oh right, because of the move from the, uh, from the uh, with that uh, stupid entangling foliage, entangling overgrowth. Yeah, and I have to test because of my painful reflection. Um. Oh right, because you played vantage point. Oh, and it yep. was canceled. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Of course. Ah, oh, vantage point. So I can actually, so I have to test, uh, let's see, four versus five. And I will, uh, I'm going to commit drawn to the flame. So that'll be six versus four. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So which, which clue were you going after? I was going to grab the one in the light box. Well, there were two on the light box. Yeah, but I figured at least grabbing one was better than grabbing But wouldn't nine. wouldn't and it be better just to play the the drawn to the flame? Mm, my plan was to take those two, take one and then just move there at the end of turn and then take the other one and move and resign. Uh, next turn? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that was my plan, but unfortunately, you, like if you had played the the drawn to the flame to grab the two clues and then move to the the lobby, I still have read the signs, so I can still play read the signs. Right. Okay. So let's let's do that. So it's going to be a six versus four, and then I have to discard an item I set or an ally SX. I drew a minus four. So I guess I'll discard Milan. Wow, that card has uh, done a number on you. I thought you'd be fine with your with your high power, <laughs> I know. but uh... yeah, I've gotten smacked. And then let's see here. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess I will. Is it worth it to move into the lighting box and try to do that next turn? So you will grab two clues. So can you resign next turn? Yes. And get those two clues. If I pass read the signs, yes. OK. So I guess I'll do that. And that'll be my turn. All right. Well, I need to kill. I need to kill the rats. That shouldn't be much of an issue. Uh, so that will be six versus one, or I can go seven versus one, I guess. Yeah, I'll hack them. I'll cut them down with the enchanted blade. Seven versus one. 
Chaos bag gives me a skull. That is a minus uh, one. And the rats die. Uh, I'm just waiting for the, the big guy to show up next turn. Got plenty of resources, so I might as well draw some cards. And so I, I think I have enough damage between the home front and the beat cop. That'll deal two. Then I would just need to deal, I just need to hit him another two times to, mm -hmm. to finish him off. So I will draw two cards. And I get a fine clothes and another colt. So a combat skill icon, that's always nice. So I've got a couple of extra combat skill icons in my, in my hand. So I would be able to go six, seven, eight versus four twice. So yeah, that should be okay. All right. So the Royal Emissary trots over. Uh, actually, Sophie is going to flip unless I kill the beat cop. That is a bigger problem. Because he's going to deal two damage to me. Mm. Uh, I could play my home front and on my first attack and that'll move a damage from me to the royal emissary and that would flip sophie back so i think we're okay so i'll take two damage and then i'll take a horror and flip sophie and then i take a horror as well all right so if we can get through this uh this mythos phase uh, I draw another beat cop. And I draw an enraptured. Alright. Move on to the mythos phase. One of six. Uh, your card, Nate, is going to be the voice of Trunembra. Test three willpower for each point you fail by. You have to choose a different option. Lose two resources. Take a horror. Get minus two to the next skill test you perform this round. Alright, well, we'll just test three versus five here. Ooh, nice. I pass. All right. Uh, my card is going to be another rats. Ah, oh, rats. That's fine. Doesn't affect the, the board state because I can still hit him twice and uh, resign. So. Yeah. We haven't been testing your melancholy. Uh, no, we haven't. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Uh, we'll test it this... Uh, I'll test it once here to see uh, for last turn. Uh, that's a minus four. Uh, if your location has no horror, place a horror. So I have to take a horror. Okay, that's annoying. But uh, all right. Okay, so we took a horror from that, and it's our turn again. So I guess do you, want, you me? want me to go first? Um, you're going to use your last action to resign, right? Yeah. Okay, how about you let me go first? Okay. Because if something goes awry, you still have a shriveling charge that okay. you, could, uh, you could kill somebody with here. So I'm going to okay. play, I'm going to attack the... Uh, the uh, Royal Emissary. I'm going to pitch home front. So I am. Uh, I only get minus one to each of my skills. That makes you an eight? Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm four, five, uh, nine. Nine versus four. Well, it'd be nine minus one. So eight. No. Because I'm, I took one. If I, I oh, had, sorry, B cup. Yeah, yeah, I forgot B cup. B -cup. So uh, nine versus uh, four. Chaos bag says skull. That's a minus three. Because I have three horror on me, uh, so I will deal him three damage. 
Uh, I get to move one from me to him. And then I hit him for two more with the gun. And that goes away. Um, I will shoot him again. And uh, Sophie flips back over uh, because I have that. I will now uh, use another charge. I will shoot him for, I'm at five, six, seven, eight. Eight versus four is fine. Yeah, eight versus four is fine. Uh, Chaos Bag says another skull, that's a minus three. So he takes another two damage. Uh, I will trigger the beat cop to deal him a damage and he is dead and I have one action remaining and I will resign nice all right so hopefully this goes well for me so let's use my first action to play read the signs spend my two resources so I'm going to be investigating at a, let's see, five, that'll be nine total. So nine versus four. And that's a minus three. So I pass and gain two clues. Second action is going to be to move. I have to test uh, willpower four versus five here. Ooh, gross. But it doesn't really matter because we're going to spend our last action to resign. And that will be curtain call. So how many victory points did we end up with there? We ended up with I another... think we ended up with almost all of them. We got six, it looks like. Uh, three, seven. We got seven. Four, five, six, seven. Seven victory points. Yep. Pretty sweet. So we'll have uh, lots of stuff to, uh, I think that gets me a stick to the plan next for next game if I want it. So Yeah, I'll have to, have to look through the cards and pick some upgrades. All right. Well, that is going to do it for our playthrough of uh, Curtain Call. Remember that if you are a, a patron of the channel, stay tuned for the post-game show where Nate and I will uh, chat a little bit about how we uh, thought this scenario went and uh, and uh, return to the path to Carcosa in general. I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, playthrough. It's been a while since I've uh, played with somebody else on the channel, so it's uh, thanks for uh, for joining me, Nate. Yeah, thanks for having me on. And uh, we will be back with uh, the Last King uh, at some point, and then uh, we've got another six scenarios on top of that so uh, we are just uh, dipping our toe here into return to the past of carcosa and uh, we will uh, see if we can't uh, put big h down in the end so uh, thank you very much for for joining us and uh and uh, stay tuned for more great arkham horror lcg uh, content that's going to do it for this playthrough if you enjoy what you hear remember to like comment and subscribe if you'd like to become a patron of the channel, head over to patreon.com and sign up for a tier of your choice and claim your rewards. That would be awesome if you could do that. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there and happy investigating.